All right, this is gonna be a pretty short video. I just want to go over with you some basics about fractions and decimals. All right, fractions and decimals are essentially the same thing. It just means you're writing part of a whole number. All right, for instance, if I'm thinking, let's look at something very, very basic. Let's take the fraction one half, all right? This means one divided by two, all right? That is what that means. That bar in your fraction indicates division. So one divided by two. It also means half of a whole. In other words, one part of two parts. Okay, so if I was gonna do that very basically, right, I've got half a part here, half a part here, together they make the whole. All right, okay. So another way to think about this fraction, every fraction can be written as a decimal. So one half, how would I write that as a decimal? Well, it's a pretty basic one, so we all know that it's 0.5, but mathematically, let me show you what that looks like. It hinges off this idea of division. So that means one divided by two. Well, two won't go into one, so I've got to draw a decimal and then add some zeros. All right, so now two goes into 10. See, the decimal comes up here. Five times two is 10. Okay, now that that's zero, I didn't really need those other zeros. So one half is equivalent to 0.5. Anytime you see a decimal, you can also think of that as over 10. So if I want to write 0.5 as a fraction, just looking at that, I can go, well, I know that that's 5 over 10. What does that reduce to? It reduces to 1 half. I know, it's exciting. <laughs> it really is fun. Okay, so anyway... And going along with that idea of reducing, a lot of students struggle with this. So basically, you're asking yourself a question, can this reduce? Well, when I look at 5 tenths, I know it can reduce because the numerator will go into the denominator two times. So that's where I get that too, right? One five, two of those makes a 10, okay? So that's how reducing works. All right, so that's just some basics about fractions and decimals. Uh, one other thing I would like to remind you of is that any number can be written as a fraction. Here's what I mean by that. That means that if I have the number two, I can write it as a fraction. How, Miss Griggs? Well, every number is understood to be over one. So when you see the number two, it's really two over one. Every number can be written as a fraction. Well, what about 368? Yes, it's 368 over 1. All right? So anytime I'm working with fractions and I have a whole number that, let's say, is added to a fraction, I can change it to a fraction so that operating with it will be a little easier. 